everyone, Mr. Bring over again. Today we are going to review all of Unit 6, so we make sure that we're uh, all refreshed on what we learned, and make sure we can get 100 on this test tomorrow. So, uh, we're going to do set A first, where we make sure we know how to read a tally chart and a picture graph perfectly. Before we get started, I have a little question for you guys. Oh, also, <laughs> almost forgot. Make sure you're on page 275, okay, 275. Write it a little bit bigger here. If you're not on this page in Robot Turbo Book, pause the video, get to that page ASAP. But if you're already on it, we're going to keep on moving. Okay, if I want to make five using tally marks, which one would be the correct way? Choice one, or choice number two here. I want you to point on your screen which way is the correct way to cr make five tally marks. All right, are you pointing to one? Sure hope so. And if you're pointing to option number two, you are absolutely correct. This is how we make five. You go one, two, three, four going down, and then the fifth one goes across, making like a little bundle. Alright, so now that we refresh that, let's see what this is about. It says, Jimmy asks 10 friends what meal takes the longest to eat. Alright, now, one thing you can do whenever you see a tally chart, if you want to make certain questions easier on you, I would recommend before reading any question, counting each tally mark, and right next to each of them, you write the number. That is something that is optional. You don't have to, but it could save you some frustration later on. Just saying. If not, that's fine too. So let's read question number one. How many friends said dinner was their longest meal? And dinner is this last one right here. So you need to be able to read those tally marks and write the number on the line right here. So go ahead and do that. I'll give you guys a quick minute. All right. If you're not done, pause the video. If you are done, let's make sure you have the correct answer here. So for dinner, we just count the tally marks. We have one, two, three, four, five going across and then six next to it. So, six friends said that uh, dinner was the longest. Now, if you went ahead before we even read that and you counted each set of tally marks and wrote the numbers down, you would have just been able to look over and go, oh, it's six, and then just wrote it down. Uh, but that's if you chose to do that. If not, it's not a big deal. Now, number two, I'm going to read, but I will not be going over this question. If you're in my class and you're watching this, I will be collecting your workbooks at the very end to make sure that you are doing your work. Now, uh, and I also will explain number two very thoroughly before I let you guys give it a try. Because it is worded a little weird. It says, how many friends said breakfast or dinner was their longest meal? Now, this is a very weird question. When they say it like this, how many friends said breakfast or dinner? They want to know both. They want to know the total for those two. So that means you're going to combine breakfast and dinner together and write the total number of friends that picked both of those. All right. So go ahead, count those tally marks, write that answer on the line right down here. Sure, I'll take you guys a, um, a quick minute. All right, if you're still working, pause the video. No biggie. Take your time, then hit play when you're done. If you're not done, or I'm sorry, if you are done, we're going to keep on going. Uh, so down here, we have the same data from this tally chart but they just moved it on down to a picture graph. 
and they gave us different colored cubes for each one. So breakfast has red cubes, lunch has yellow cubes, and dinner, they gave dinner some blue cubes. And picture graphs are very easy to read because uh, each picture just counts as one. That's it. But when we are comparing, like if I asked you um, how many more friends chose lunch than dinner, there's two ways we can do this, and I talked about this a little while ago. Um, if we're comparing lunch and dinner, make a little line where the first block stops, or the first picture, and then just count all the ones after that to see how many more or less there are. So if I wanted to, if I was asking you how many more friends voted for dinner than lunch, I would just draw that little imaginary line after that. Uh, one yellow block because that's the shortest one, right? And just count all the blue ones afterwards. One, two, three, four, and five. So there is five more. Now, if it was worded differently by saying how many fewer friends picked lunch than dinner, you're going to do it the exact same way and you would have the same answer. It's still five no matter what. Now the other way you can do this is, and they're kind of showing you right here, this is why I'm making sure I'm going over both ways, is just subtracting the two. So again, if you're comparing lunch and dinner, we have, what, three breakfast, one lunch, and six dinner. We can also just subtract the two. So I would make a subtraction sentence saying six minus one equals... 5. And that gave me the same answer that I just got a second ago. Now they have uh, a little area set up over here to make a subtraction sentence. If you're able to just look at the graph and compare and give me the answer right away, you don't have to make a subtraction sentence if that's not your method. Okay? But it is an option. So let's go over number. Let's go over number three. I'm gonna read it. I want you guys to try it, and then we'll go over it together. It says, "How many more friends chose breakfast than lunch?" So you're comparing the red cubes and the yellow cubes. Go ahead and give that one a try. How many more friends picked breakfast than lunch? We're comparing. I'll give you guys a quick minute. Alright, now if you are still working on this, as always, pause the video. If not, we let's make sure you did the correct work, okay? Now, uh, if you did make a subtraction sentence, right, we, that just means we have 3 and 1, the big number goes first, so 3, and then the 1. And 3 and minus 1 is just 2, right? So it would be 2 more friends picked breakfast than lunch. Now if you want to just use that little comparing method just using the picture graph, well the yellow one stops first so I make my little imaginary line. How many red ones are after it? Well just one, two. And I, I get the same answer either way. You can either compare the pictures or make a subtraction sentence. Now number four I will not give you guys the answer so make sure that you try it Try your hardest to uh, do it the best you can, because I am collecting these workbooks. So number four says, how many more chose dinner than breakfast? So you, now you're comparing the red cubes and the blue cubes. Go ahead and try that one. I'll give you guys a few moments.
Alright, if you're still working on number four, pause the video. Take your time, as always, guys. If not, let's move on to page 276 next. Alright, guys, we're on set B here on page 276. Now, we have this chart over here that's about soccer, tennis, running, and a bunch of friends voted on which one was their favorite. So, let's read this little story here. I already circled the important number, and I made a number line up top to get us ready. So let's read it together. Mari asked 16 of her friends for their favorite activity, and she recorded their answers in a picture graph. And number five here says how many people chose either uh, soccer or running. Now, I know this sounds weird, but when we hear this, they're actually saying uh, how many people chose uh, soccer and running combined. So they want to know how many people altogether either chose soccer or chose running now these two will uh, be combined and have an answer all their own so but there's two ways to, to solve this um, and I'm going to show you guys both ways the first way to solve this is by subtracting the one we don't want so if we're trying to find soccer and running what's the sport we don't need well we don't need tennis we don't need it. We don't care about the tennis, how many friends picked it, right? That's not what they're asking. So, what we can do is, where the subtraction sign is, we can set this up. First, we got to think how many friends voted total, meaning every single vote here. How many people is that? Well, we already read it in the story. It's right here. It's 16. So, 16 people voted all together. That is the total number of people that voted for any sport. And now we need to take away the tennis. So how many votes do we have for tennis? Well, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we have 16, and we're going to take away seven. And we can use our number line to solve that. So I'm going to give you guys a quick moment. Go ahead and solve 16 minus seven. Okay, did you give it a shot? All right, so if we use this number line, we start 16, make seven jumps backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We landed on nine. So 16 minus seven is nine. Now, that is one way we can solve this, sure. But you, if you don't like subtracting, because I know some friends that just really don't like subtracting at all. They don't think it's fun. We can also add. So for adding, we just take the soccer and running votes and combine them. So on your own, go ahead and write out the addition sentence for soccer and running and write it up here. Now for this, I will not give you guys the answer, but I will be collecting your workbooks. So go ahead, combine soccer and running and write out the entire addition sentence under number five. All right, uh, by now you should have come up with an answer. Now I'm not going to give an answer, but I will be looking for one when I collect your workbooks. All right, and let's go over number six really quick. Now there's only one, so I will give you the first few steps after you read it, and I want you to solve it on your own. So it says, Mari asked some more friends, and they all, so everyone that she asked says they all chose tennis as their favorite activity 
Now the number of students who like tennis and uh, who like tennis is the same number of students who like soccer and running. How many friends did Mari ask? Now for this, you're going to take this total that we found up here. And you need to find the difference between that and tennis. Because they're supposed to be the same number right now. And for tennis, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right. So all you have to do is make it a little subtraction sentence, guys. So we know that the total for soccer and running is 9. How much should we take away? And what is the answer? Okay. I already kind of pointed out a little hint here. Okay, we're trying to find the difference between these two, their total, and tennis. All right, but that's it. So, um, if you're still working on that and you w would like to pause the video, that's fine. Uh, but for anyone else that is done, guys, that's going to be it for now. Um, if you're in my classroom, you can go ahead on Pink Cat and get some additional subtraction practice in, all that good stuff. Uh, I might even have an Excel assignment ready for you just to get your noodle working a little bit more. But if you're not in my classroom, please make sure you ask your teacher what he or she would like you to do next. And that's it. Hopefully this uh, all helps refresh your memories about picture graphs and tally charts and how to write them and all that good stuff. All right. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Uh, have a great day, and I'll see you again next time.